Mm-hmm. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up, Ryan. Hey, man. Get to the podcast now. Oh, but it's it's a nice rainy day. I know, dude. To be honest right now, all I want to do is take a nap. I just want to be home and take a nap. Well, by the time we get home from work, the rain's probably not going to be there anymore. You know, I mean, it's been raining all day. Yeah, we'll see. It rained uh, two days ago or a day ago. I can't remember. I think two days ago. And people I, are... I'm sorry. No, you can, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. No, no, go for it. I already said a piece is your turn. I was just going to say, people are probably surprised why we're talking about rain. Like, hey, it rains all the time. Never rains in LA. So it's... And from two South Carolina boys, we're, we love the rain. We miss the rain. We appreciate the rain. Especially you, coastal fucking Charleston. I know. Well, well you don't, you shouldn't have enjoy the rain as much because then it could potentially lead to loss of home. But well, it was a welcome loss of home. Though, I, like, I love <laughs> yeah. the rain so much. But it's pouring in LA today. I, I'm looking out the window. It's 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 overcast. It's oh, hold on, man. water's rushing. To, yeah, let's open up that window up. Let's let's really open that up. Damn, oh, I like this. I like this atmosphere. I could see it bouncing off the roof, off hold the up. neighbor's roof. See it knocking down the little tree leaves. Oh, turn yeah, turn those lights down. Fuck yeah. Okay, I like this atmosphere. Got a little candle in the middle. Okay, atmosphere. Much better. Nice, nice. Well, welcome, guys, to episode 184 of yep. our podcast. Another one. Another one, y'all. Another one. Uh, uh, another one of, of of many hundreds of the Super Mega Cast. That's right. Yep. Inching our way, <laughs> inching our way to 200 at this point. Close. Very close. 184. Are we 16 away now? Yeah. Some shit like that. Damn, dude. We know simple math. Look at that. Uh huh. I guess. What's what's the most the most pressing thing in terms of like what's going on right now? Right, is still the coronavirus. Oh my god, yeah, it's that's big right now. That's real big right now. And pandemic, a a pandemic, baby. We are at pandemic levels now. No one's coming from Europe, Mm-mm. unless I guess you were traveling and you're an American. You can probably still come over. Yeah, and that doesn't count the UK and Iceland, right? Or does that UK still- and Ireland? Ireland, sorry. It, it's it's fucking insane, dude. Like, uh, it's it seems like yesterday was when it all really just kind of whoop. Like, like it was it was it was never good, but now all of a sudden it's what? like everything's shutting down. Tom Hanks has it. <sighs> you know? Did you see on the subreddit someone was like the boys predicted this Tom Hanks thing? Because like recently in a podcast we were talking about like what would be a celebrity like a big celebrity death that would really upset us oh my and, god you're right and we have a podcast episode titled tom, tom hanks, hanks has, has aids. aids oh my god <laughs> and in that episode funny thing is in that episode we talked about chet hanks a lot like his son <laughs> yeah and now he's in the news real big right now why is chet in the news because he posted a video uh addressing like his uh the state of his parents where he's like yeah guys so my parents got the coronavirus but he's shirtless in it and he's like really like <laughs> ripped and he has all these tattoos on display it, like, it, like it's just bizarre. It's a bummer, man. Well, there. Uh, the thing is, yesterday you were like, "Uh oh!" Now all the celebrities are getting it. But Tom Hanks he's is in Australia. Australia. Yeah. Here, let me just show you this. <laughs> Does video. he live in Australia? No, he's shooting a movie. <clears throat> what movie? Uh, dude, I don't. My Tom Hanks agent. <laughs> Here, let me let me just show you this. I think. What's up, everyone? Um, yeah, it's true. My parents got coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I love Chad He Hanks. is such a, like, I don't understand how that comes from Tom. Although, do you feel like it's part of the youth, his youthful, rebellious nature because his dad was Tom Hanks and he didn't want, he wanted, he's like, no, I'm going to be a, a rapper with tattoos. Maybe, yeah, dude, because, well, here's the thing, dude, if my dad was Tom Hanks, I wouldn't rebel against that. I'd be like, yo, my dad's fucking Tom Hanks. My, my dad's Forrest Gump. Mm-hmm. I'm baby Gump. And now, now Tom Hanks has Corona. I'm Little Forest. Little Forest. Little Forest. Is he like? Is he like me? I no, he's at the top of his class. <laughs> oh, that part Ooh. made me cry so much the first time I saw it, dude. Is is he is he a, a, a rapper like, <laughs> like me? <laughs> uh, is he no, no, like like is, is is he is he? No, for no Forest. He's a rapper. Oh, he's he's a white rapper, Forest. And then Bubba's next to him is like, is he like? Is he like me? No, no, but no, he's a white rat, <laughs> dude. Oh man, hey, I, I got I got this virus that had to do with beer or something, and I kept sneezing and sneezing, <laughs> and then you know, Lieutenant Dan, we we got this virus that called the coronavirus had to do with some Corona beer. There was something a long time ago called SARS. <laughs> mm. 
dude, it's it's crazy though. I said so that was Trump's the first. Trump's gonna get it, dude. Yeah, everyone's gonna. I'm get not it. saying that in like gleeful. Oh, dude, Trump's gonna get it. <laughs> no, but like I'm saying, like, you know, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of crazy headlines going around. But uh, one recently was that some guy who recently met with both Donald Trump and Pence uh, was found to be positive for coronavirus. Yes, after he had met uh, a with Brazilian. The, uh, person like spokesperson spokesperson yeah damn and also you know you know the crazy thing about how viruses spread is like the exponential process of it is that we are recording this on thursday march 12th yes and this comes out almost a week later actually which means well on youtube uh, remember uh you can always uh no this this will be on streaming services a week later wednesday comes out on wednesdays on streaming services. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Uh, for some reason. Oh, it's because. Sorry, guys. We're we're starting. We started like and we're trying to be responsible adults, and so we're trying to get the podcast done on like Monday. So we record it at the end of the week, edit it at the beginning of next week, and put it out mid next week. Yes. So uh, sorry, I, I was. I'm still kind of frazzled by that change. Yeah, just because side note, because now we're we've partnered with uh, Studio Seventy One. Um, well, as you can see from the description, currently on Spotify, you know they're changing, I, they're changing that actually. Okay, I talked. <laughs> about it they're gonna change it i just it was it was funny just uh who's you know we're missing our third member on studio the podcast 71. <laughs> yeah yeah the no, myth the legend studio 71 he's he just sits there quietly <laughs> we uh we, we partnered with studio 71 though um and they're gonna be uh we we gave Roos, rooster teeth a little kiss goodbye and now we're studio 71 um and they're gonna be bringing us for the next year our our ad deals um uh so we got to start doing things uh more professionally i guess um, we got the, we got the whips on our back right now to do, to do these. Well, it helps it also does, it just does. the podcast in general. And yeah. for those, uh, who are listening right now on YouTube, just remember that you can, uh, it's on Spotify, on iTunes. iTunes doesn't even exist anymore. I'm oh, sorry. The Apple music store Apple is that, what, that's what it's called. It's confusing, right? I don't know yeah. like ever to iTunes, Apple podcast, Apple podcast, everything. It's on everything. Yeah. Two days are before. We on, are the, we on Google music? Or yeah. We're on Google play okay. music. So Android listeners. And so stuff. it comes out early there. You can catch the podcast early. Um, and if you are uh, listening to us through the Apple Store, if you could help us out and uh, give us a five star, five star rating, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't begged for your ratings in in quite a few episodes. I'd say, I'd say, a, I don't know, like seventy, eighty. Yeah, we've. So if if y'all could just you know leave a nice little Smack review, five stars if, on if there. You, that's only if you like the podcast. If you hate it, just uh, just uh, stop stop listening and, ne- and never come back, dude. What? Don't. I'm kidding. You can you can come back to hate on us for no. No reason. no 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 don't don't. <laughs> I was saying don't to the audience. Oh. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, with that being said, what I was saying is the fact that this comes out almost a week later and this shit spreads so exponentially. Well, the past three days have been huge updates. All three days. J- j- at, literally, like the past forty eight hours, just. <laughs> Well, they Tom Hanks. They canceled, uh, like all the sporting NBA, events. NBA canceled, canceled their the season, season uh, which is big. Like we're, we're talking about, like E three was canceled. Of course, we're talking about big corporations that don't really care about the general public, but they have to because it looks better for them to cancel those events. So they're willing to take the marketing loss over the backlash they would get to staying open. If the disease was still well, that's bad, dude. still around, so and, and everything like just just in the past. Few that's hours. how I know it's bad when companies are losing yeah. money because of it. Like E three is huge. Like it's it's such a huge. Like E three is a giant commercial. Dude, for South by Southwest. Game. Yep, South by Southwest. I saw they were saying they uh, might not Coachella be able to do it again. until October was uh, postponed. Um, I think some movie releases are being postponed. They might shut down the entire like film TV. Yeah, dude. I I I'm. One of my friends was saying like I should stop because I like going to the movie theater. I should stop going to the movie theater for the time being because that that's just a it's one room, just a bunch of seats in and out, in and out, in and out. It's just not it's not viable. A lot right of now, people just sitting and incubating. Yeah, you know. And I don't know if like if it's really to that extent because if you look at past pandemics that we've had, H one N one, you know, um, that one, you know, it's like I if you can help me out here, Matt. Um, whenever I try to talk on something, I always think of something to say, then I'm like, what if people take that wrong? And then I try to reword it in my mind in a different way. So that's why I'm getting caught up in this loop. Anyways, basically, um, I don't know if the fear of H1N1 is greater than the 
like necessity for all of this? Like what at what like do, do you think social media has a point to play? Do you think it's like this serious? I think it's this serious. I Period think it's coronav- like, yeah, coronavirus. Oh yeah, okay. Uh yeah. I think it is. Because, because I, like H1N1, like of course it was more lethal and it infected more people, but that we have an end date for that right now. We don't have an end date for coronavirus currently. Right now, yes, it no is vaccine, spreading. no cure. Yeah. And and it seems like just the, the the way it can stay uh you can have it for like twelve days without symptoms and be spreading it. You can Was two thousand nine uh, our last pandemic? I don't remember when the last pandemic was. Was it, it was swine H- flu? I think it was I thought it was H one N one. I think was that a pandemic? Yeah. Was Ebola wait, what, a pandemic? What was, wait, was it was swine flu or H one N one two thousand nine? I can't swine remember. Swine flu was H one N one. Oh d- anyways. Um uh yeah, that was two thousand nine. That long ago? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in a... I was in middle school. I just don't remember too much. It's, I guess because really we were young. You don't really care about young. that shit when you're in middle school, you know? Yeah, but I, I feel like I would have remembered my parents, like, being like, be careful, I don't know. I don't remember this My parents don't this sound level. like that, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Jim does. Yeah. But I, I think uh, it, I think it's warranted. I mean, the fact that it, it does kill a lot of people. and it, it, I was reading some, some shit. Almost um, a thousand people in Italy as of right now, like 800-something people have died. Yeah, I mean, people are dying really fast, too. Of course, more people are recovering. Yeah, yeah. It, it's still not good that people are dying. No, and uh, I hear a lot of people, you know, like my dad, for example, is like, well, you know, son, the common flu kills more people each year. It's like, well, yeah, granted, it does. We have a vaccine. We have a vaccine, common. you know, and th- this is like new territory. This can mutate, you know, just because the flu does kill a lot of people doesn't undercut the argument that we shouldn't take this seriously. We're at a big crossroads right now. Uh, I think they're going to because they can cancel the Olympics. Oh, damn it, Matt. Oh, is that what you're going to say? Yes. <laughs> oh, I had no idea. I, just, I was going to say I was going to link it because um, in um, uh, Plague Inc., whenever you're playing the game, the goal is to at least last until the Olympics so that then after you get to the Olympics, you're good. You're like, oh, I can win this easy now, essentially. But uh, if they close off the Olympics, you're kind of fucked. Uh, not fucked, but it's a little harder to infect the world. Yeah. And so like, I don't know. I mean that that this is a big this is a big turning point. Are they gonna are they gonna you know halt the Olympics? This the thing is, I think uh, Japan spent one point something percent of their whole economy like funding the Olympics, right? Yeah, I mean, they've been working on this for this. Is, I mean, the Olympics are a big fucking it would be deal a for big loss economy. of money, huge loss. And I think they probably will cancel it. Yeah, if it keeps if it keeps going the way it is now, because they I saw like Ohio and Maryland just canceled school. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mom is saying they might cancel school in South Carolina. Well, um, out here in L.A., people are going a bit. They're going a bit stupid. They're they're hoarding all the toilet paper and shit. They're buying. OK, they're buying like bottles of water and yes it's cheap to just buy a big pack of bottled water but just get a filter thing just get a the the the, the virus is not going to get into the water supply <laughs> it's like the water's going to be fine just you could just drink water out of the tap still you know it's like yeah. it's not like the water's going to get infected i think people are like preparing for quarantine i got so. yeah I do. I, I have, I have my canned food. soups, dude. I have I my got water. some too. I got a big we got a big ass like we're getting a big ass bag like 15 pounds of rice and some beans, some cans of beans, yeah. some, you know, some I want to like go to the goods. store, get some meats, put it in the freezer like steak and chicken. Let's do a Corona prep vlog where we just go to the store. And the guys go shopping, grocery shopping too, but this time it's to prepare for the pandemic that is yeah. currently being unleashed upon humanity. It is unfortunate though because masks won't help us that much yeah. in America. In, in somewhere like Japan, for, for example, since it is kind of a norm to wear masks, it does help a lot more because it, it halts the transmission. But if you only have like... A few people wearing masks. It does not it like. It's not really helping anyone. It I only. Think, I think we should all just be wearing masks right now. We like, should, but we're not going to be. But you don't want to be the only guy wearing a mask. And yeah. You feel all goofy. Yeah. As I said, it's just not. It's. It, it wasn't inherently in our culture to begin with. So it, we to adapt to it, like the whole mask thing. Like I think, I think we're a little too late right now. But this might start. Who knows? This might start. It is like start a trend. A trend. That yeah. would be good. As like people will start wearing masks all the time. But it's really for the masks are for people who have it. Yeah. To keep from spreading yeah, it, because if you if you're wearing a mask and you don't have it, you're still the likelihood of you getting it is only like decreased a minor amount by wearing a mask, right? Yeah. You just you, the more important thing is to uh, make sure that you're washing your hands, uh, you're being sanitary. You know, you're not you're not going out. I think one of the things was don't go out to mass gatherings of more than 250 people. 
type of thing. Guys, wash your hands after you shit, please. A lot of people don't wash their hands after they shit. And, I like uh, smelling my hands after I use soap. I'm like, <laughs> I thought you were about to say after you shit. After I shit. After I wipe, I like. After I wipe, I go. <sighs> oh, there's still some particles there. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah. No, but I, I, I think that um, it's definitely, definitely freaky. I and I think we're at this like pivotal point right now where it suddenly has escalated so quickly, and it's like, is it going to continue to just escalate to like, like, by the time this podcast drops, it could be like really 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 bad we're like yeah. like it could be a completely different well we got the numbers pulled up on your computer right now I, I we're looking at the graph it's it's shooting up real fast every day so it's like i mean this comes out what in six days seven yeah. six days or so so i mean that's for a fucking pandemic that's that's a long time or a lot can happen in six days discovered early january like the ninth or 19th or something i have i i was going through my you tweet because you you screen recorded the so screen capped the the tweet uh not the tweet but i got the or like a news notification yeah so i got a news notification new illness found in china yeah and i screenshot it because i remember i sent it to some people like well this is the end like 2020 is <laughs> over already like as a joke not realizing this legitimately <clears throat> would turn into a huge pandemic let me read you this screenshot so i'm going through these pictures of macklemore i have in my favorites oh don't worry man i understand yeah, three hours ago, China's mysterious virus outbreak grows with 139 cases reported over two days. So, say I'll save that little one. Uh, Italy's the big one right now. Yeah, what, Italy the is, three big ones are what? China, South Korea, Italy? Yeah, and Iran. Iran, Iran is yeah, really... Uh, yeah, you were actually about to do some international travel and had to cancel it. I was. I was going to go for cherry blossom season to Japan uh, with some friends. I was going to go to the Ghibli Museum and... And just eat some good food, just, you know, was invited to go on a trip to Japan, so I accepted, and uh, I was uh, getting excited. I had it planned for, you know, months, but, you know. Yeah, and that, that sucks, because you were, like, the past few weeks, you've just been watching, you're like, oh, man, am I going to be able to? The uh, thing is, I told you, like, I want to go, but I, I think I told you from the get-go, like, my heart's telling me that I'm just going to have to not go. Well, literally, as of, like, two days ago, I was like... I was like, yeah, you can, you can probably still go, but literally, like, boom, all of a sudden, it's like, no, you, you shouldn't go. It's a threat level, what, threat level three, and they're at a four right now. So, Japan's at a four uh, to travel and shit like that. What's the, what's the threat level? Um, I didn't know there was like a threat level. What is it? There, what's the scale? One to four. Oh fuck, four is the worst. Yeah, and it's at four. Is that three? Sorry. Oh, three. Uh, did I say four? Yeah, I think so. Okay, three is what I mean. Three, fuck. Three, three, threat level three. Well, I'm, I, maybe it's four by the time this drops, because I got to travel later this month to go, uh, y'all remember uh, my old We Sell Drugs video ages ago on Kids of Problems. The guy I did that with, he's getting married, so I'm going to um, his uh, wedding. Can we, can we, yeah, we can talk, we've talked about it before, I think. Have we? He's yeah. getting, it's so strange, he's getting married to someone who i knew from my youth group because they were the sister of my first girlfriend isn't that that's just small world and now and now she's married to someone who um, i worked with yeah before Ryan and, I ever met. and he also was in the youth group but we we all grew up in like a like i grew up in charleston you grew up in columbia so like yeah. we weren't even in the same town no so it's just a small fucking world i mean you're gonna all you have to do is go up to you know the sister uh, the wife Ryan misses you, or uh, or or good old Gary, Gary, and uh, and just say uh, Mount Hebron, and then they'll be like, <gasps> Mount Hebron, Mount Hebron United Methodist Church. Is, is that some, it, that's our church? Is that some kind of like one of those like CIA unlock words that'll turn into a killer? <laughs> they'll they'll automatically just be like, yes, they'll treat you with respect. Okay. You should just say like say like. They'll be like, I never saw you. You're like, yeah, I, I, my parents went there. I went there in like early Sunday school, but then I kind of fell off for a bit, never went to youth group. Is there, obviously you can't say this on the podcast because it would name names, but you need to help me craft a story. Like if there was someone at that church that I could say like, oh, I'm their son, that they would just be like, oh no. Or like, <laughs> just like, like maybe, maybe it was the church. <laughs> you can't drop that. I'll beep it out. That like, was a nickname for him, but I'm still like kind of sketch about it because I think that maybe he's somewhere on the on like their social media. I don't know. Well, he's dead, so he, oh, yeah, yeah. He passed so away. who cares anymore? He he passed away, and he was also he was a pedophile. Another pedophile loss, ladies and gentlemen. 
We need like a theme, like a R.I.P. I would die for you. We need my, a soundboard. It's my least favorite Joji song, I think. Which song? R.I.P. I don't think I've heard that one. R.I.P. Yeah. Is it new? No. It's off of ballads, I thought. I think. Hold up. I don't think I I never actually I don't think I actually listened to ballads all the way through. I think I skipped around on it. It's good though. Oh my god. Seattle just canceled school until April 27th. Wait, Seattle's canceled school until when? April 27th. Over a month. All school. Yeah. Kids are... Dude. Why couldn't this happen when I was in school? I'm not going to have any fun on Fortnite because all these fucking sweat kids are not going to be in school. (sighs) Hey, dude, at least our views will go up because all the kids will be at home watching YouTube videos. You know, Corona Blessing's actually a Corona Blessing. (laughs) Coronavirus is a blessing in disguise. I don't. I, this is this is some sad boy shit, dude. I, I haven't heard that one. Yeah, that's not my favorite. I like Joji though. Joji's I like great his music. Joji's a great artist. I uh, I I Does admire his music. Does he what? I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> does he paint? <laughs> Probably does. Yeah. I'm sure, he does some paintings. I, I really um paints the walls with his own cum. Not who hasn't though? <laughs> While listening to his music. Um, my dad. I was on the phone with my dad yesterday about coronavirus he's like son it's really just not nothing to be worried about dad you're you're in like the danger zone for it there's only 10 cases in the sc though yeah but i mean like he's in the danger zone like the age range and health-wise. yeah but like looking at where it is in south carolina it's mid it's, it's mid like county or something. right it's not a, like he's, it's not there's some in charleston okay i think wait so. there's there is i think someone from musc got it oh damn. um that's what my mom said i thought it was like, all kind of you know, my mom's always lying yeah, that is that's true. the thing. Even if it's mid state, you know how fast it spreads. This is the thing that sucks. Um, I hate. Well, the phrase is true. Uh, there's a lot of, and maybe you've heard some that we've accidentally spilled, and we're sorry about that. We're just talking as if we're friends talking about something. We're not trying to be arbiters of health or anything like that or information. But uh, um, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> what did I start that with? You were like, oh, "Sorry if we've spilled some," but. Oh, just like, oh, yeah, uh, the big thing is, like, fake news. There's a lot of, like, uh, just bad facts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I feel that. It's never intentional around. on our end if, if we do. Um, As I said, this po- uh, okay, remember, guys, this podcast, yes, we do, like, talk to the audience and shit, and, like, that's the point of the podcast. We are, like, but at the end of the day, we're, we're having a conversation with each other. So if we stay, say stuff that's wrong or if we say things that, that might be inaccurate, that's that's – we're not we're not trying to knowingly deceive anyone okay we're just we're just two dudes two idiots talking to each other yeah and right? i actually i did hear that uh an effective way to get the germs off your fingers with coronavirus is hand sanitizer is actually not a good way you, a good way is just to just suck, to suck your fingers suck off. your fingers a little bit yeah so, so after yeah. you've been touching doorknobs just suck on your fingers a little bit um, but I, I was talking to my dad and my dad was like, son, when you, when you come to South Carolina, I want to take you to shoot my gun. I was like, oh. He has a gun or guns? He just said my gun. And oh, he means his gun. I don't know if he's he going to shoot gun. off his gun. He wants you to shoot off his gun, dude. I might have to go shoot off my dad's gun. <laughs> you have a whole song written about it. I mean, that might be what inspired You should have responded with, of course I would, dad. I have a whole song written about it. I'll polish your rifle, pop. <laughs> But I told him I was like I was like you I called your dad gay on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I deleted it. I know you did. But I, I, I was laughing my ass off. It says, "Yo, dad, you gay?" Or some it said, shit. It said, I I posted on my dad's Facebook wall late at night, uh, in a spur of the moment, uh, in my living room, uh, a picture where it's you know on Facebook you can type something where it'll make it to like a little picture with like a colored background. It was laughing crying emojis and it said. Yo, dad, you gay as hell. I posted <laughs> yeah. on my dad's Facebook wall. And he never acknowledged it or saw it. Um, he might have seen it. He would have said something. Maybe. Um, but the thing is, the thing is. Maybe it, he, that was the final strong you'll never hear from him ever again. Okay. <laughs> but the. the, 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 the <laughs> <laughs> that does look like Drake sucking a cock, Dude, I think though. it is Drake sucking a cock. It's not. That's Drake. Why would why would you still be sucking a cock when cum's still all over your face? Didn't the dude already come? Dude, he's giving. He, okay, you ever heard when you nut but she keeps sucking? 
I don't. Yeah, when but you that nut, isn't, but Drake keeps sucking. Isn't that when when you nut but she keeps sucking? Isn't that like oh I'm so uncomfortable how because do you know my penis is so se- the head of my penis is so sensitive after I came. How how do you how do you know there's not another guy involved? Drake could be sucking multiple cocks. Someone finished early. <laughs> okay, and he's finishing you're right. This one off. He could be running a fucking train on people, dude. Hey, we run a train. Uh, okay, there's a picture I have on my phone that I don't remember how I acquired it, but it literally looks like an unphotoshopped picture of Drake sucking cock. With cum on his face. With cum all over his, like, I, okay, I just want you to look at this. Like, I want you to examine this. Tell me where you could see it's possibly fake. Hold it. Hold my phone. Take it. Tell me. I mean, tell that me could how, just not be him is the thing. Dude, dude how is that not Drake? <laughs> right? That's 100% Drake sucking cock. <laughs> I, that might be a real photo of Drake sucking cock that I, I have in my possession. I'm going to get hit up with the biggest lawsuit. Because <laughs> it turns out it is real. Well, there's a lot There's a lot for Drake to be worried about. Dude, like, that like is Like footage just... of him at a concert flirting with a 16-year-old on stage. I think he was doing more than flirting with a 16 I think he was touching He the touched her boobies? Right? I'm kidding. He didn't touch her boobies. He kissed her, though. Mm. Or something like that. Dude, he's a superstar, okay? You know... If I was a superstar, if I was 30 something, if I was a 30 something year old uh, <laughs> pop superstar like Drake, the first thing I would do would be hit up underage child stars and take them out to dinner. Yes, dude. Absolutely. But unfortunately, I'm not at Drake's level. So until I get to that level, I'm just going to have to stick with regular people, I guess. <sighs> yes, dude. My age and above. God Ooh. damn it. Dude, I, 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 I'm sorry, man. I can't get over this picture of Drake sucking. The I penis? forgot I had it on my phone. I just came across it. Just, just like, like that someone guy came, came across, across his face. Did I say Drake's fake? Drake's yeah, because face. you were you were rushing to get to the joke before I was, and it flustered you. I wasn't trying. But to I said rush. it correctly. I wasn't trying to rush to get it across before. I was you were, trying you, to get it was at a big time, time rush on your part. I was like trying. Nickelodeon, you was a big time rush. Uh 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 uh. uh. I was just trying. <laughs> That's to get all you have to do as a rapper. Just like if you can't find something, just be like, oh, I just need to name the channel first. Uh, 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 uh. Like trees, I have the bitch bending and swaying. I had a good line the other day. It was, uh. Like a hurricane with trees, she bending and swaying. My bitch, like a hurricane with the trees, she bending and swaying. Got her down on her knees. Got me squirting and spraying. All over her titties. Matt's dad is a cock sucking on Matt's dad's dad's cock. <laughs> That's a loaded one, dude. That means your dad is a is a is a dick, and he's sucking your grandfather's penis. Wait, my, wait, Matt's dad is a cock sucker sucking on Matt's dad's dad's, dad's cock. cock. <laughs> Matt's dad is a cock sucker sucking on Matt's dad's cock. Matt's dad's dad's cock. Okay. Yeah, I'll make a song for my grandpa next. <laughs> Sure and it's all appreciate. about your dad fucking, like, sucking your grandfather's penis. Yo, my dad sucking on my grandpa's cock. <laughs> I had a line that was like uh, something about, I'm trying to remember, it was, it was, it was uh, she chewing on that wood like a beaver. I thought he bursted a vein, but he busted a nut. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just an aneurysm. <laughs> Who should I send this Drake picture to to get their opinion? Because I feel like it's not Odds like- are you send that Drake picture to your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Odds are. Dude, there's no way that's not Drake. Odds are you send that pic. Just ten, three, two, one, seven. Four. Okay. Fuck. What are the odds I text this to your mom? No, she I can't. She's gonna be at work and open up a picture of Drake <laughs> sucking cock. Here, I selected. I went to my. Okay, I'm going into my contacts real quick. <laughs> Can you send it to to your sister's husband? <laughs> that, dude, that's just weird, man. We don't have that kind of relationship. <laughs> Can we just send it like someone we used to work with but don't work with anymore? Like some, I'd like, say send it to Brent. What about, get his response. What about some old like... Just say, hey, this you to Brent. Okay, I'll send it to Brent. I always can't find him because I forgot to change his name to Little Man in my phone. <laughs> and it's been like that for a year, but I still forget. Oh, by the way, Matt, I have a bone to pick with you. You have a boner to pick with me? Yeah, a big one. A big raging one. Veins and all. You know, I, I, I'm i happy to be a part of your of your... Twitter timeline, Matthew, but I will not be a part of the math, the, the Matt Watson spin that you have going on. What the, what is this? You Matt reversed Watson those spin? pictures on that tweet. What are you talking about? You reversed those pictures. The tweet with the pictures of us. Yeah. I thought it was funnier. That so, way. so, so it would tell a different narrative. No, before I tweeted it out. And I, now people think that you don't, that you're not my little man. 
see Ryan, I put those two pictures side by side and I was like I, I loved I, I liked it. You know, I retweeted it. I, I enjoyed it. But you're lying to the people. I'm not lying to the people. I for the comedy purpose the tweet. You are I, my little man. I passed it I am your little man. But I pa yeah. I passed it around in my house and I said, which order should I put these pictures and what makes more sense? And we came to that conclusion and then I tweeted that out. There's that picture, Drake. There it is. All right. Send to Brent. All right. It is sent off to Brent. Let's see what uh he says. He should get back to me pretty quick on this. How about that? How about that? <laughs> Did you say anything with it? No, I just sent it. <laughs> how about that? I didn't talk about the handyman experience I had. Where you just drank and chilled with him and shit? I ordered pizza with the... So... This. I really feel like he just he just used you for free pizza and drinks. Uh, he was cool though. I mean, like I offered it all. Like he didn't. Oh, my sister's calling me. I didn't send it to her though. Okay, yeah, Sam, I'm not answering this time. Oh shit! Because you gonna know be, it's gonna be a coronavirus. Ooh. Yeah. What if she has it and she was calling you to tell you? Like goodbye, Matthew. I'm dying. <laughs> uh, so my the, so I had to get a TV mounted on a wall, and you know these little these little toothpick arms can't do the job just just that well you know so, a house filled with one two three four boys none of you have the arms for 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 the work of a handyman well i don't want to install a mount incorrectly because because the, the tv's heavy it's very heavy why because it's a big tv how big big tv damn like it's a large television and I didn't want to. I didn't want to fuck it up. Like, does it look like a regular TV jumped on a mushroom? Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's a good way to put it. Um, but basically, I, I, you know, I, we couldn't put this up ourselves. Uh, and you know, it's. I'd, I'd rather support a, a local dude. Give him, give him a little cash. That'll do a better job. So, hey, it makes better call song nights that much more of an experience. It does. It really does. Uh, and he, he comes over. He puts it up. He does a great job. And we start talking, just chilling, and. Made him a little tiki drink. And he goes, you know what would be good with this tiki drink? Some pizza. Well, I offered him. I was like, y'all like, got weed? I was like, do you want any pizza? Or I was like, do you want to like order any food? He's like, nah, nah, it's fine. And then he has a drink. He's like, you know, that pizza does sound pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So I ordered pizza. And then he just <laughs> hung around for like three hours after he finished the job. And we just talked. We And like, we got pretty drunk. And, and Jackson said he walked in and just he just hears like, just like, so do you believe in God? Like we just got in really deep conversation about like believing in God and like politics and all That's this like shit. the number one uh, conversation to go to, right? Yeah. So what do you think of God? So how's that God guy to you? Do you, do you, do you, do you uh, partake in any, any Christ? Any a little bit of Christ? You know, you ever dip your toes in, in the, in the waters of in Christ? the Christ pool, you know? In the pool of Christ. Uh, and then he, and then he, we, I, we traded phone numbers and he went home. You should text him right now. He did text me actually. Text him that picture of Drake. <sighs> <laughs> Odds are you text him that picture of Drake. He's he's this thirty-seven year old dude named Ray. Odds are you text him that picture dude, of Drake. That would be so over okay. Forty. Three, two, one, twenty one. Oh, thank God, dude. That would have been because the only time he texted was he said, Thanks, that was fun. And I said, You too. And then he sent me a podcast clip to listen to. Of 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 our own podcast. Now what did he send me? These guys are pretty funny. Ray, let me hold on. Let me find it. Wait, are you friends with? Did Ray Romano come put up your TV? What is Ray? It was him. <laughs> no, he sent me a clip from Armchair Expert podcast. Said you'll like it. Dot dot dot. I think. I I could send him something right now. Okay, who can I send this Drake picture to? I got one more person. I gotta. <laughs> My dad. There's gotta be one good contact. How about I just send him to a random fucking number? <laughs> okay. I was sending to a random <laughs> number and then be like, oh, "My bad." What if it's man. a child? Oh, uh, you're you no. You know what? Trouble. That's a really good point. I didn't even think about that. That's a bad idea. I'm not going to do that. My favorite thing is texting random numbers. Like, hey, I'm out front. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you talking about? Um, my uncle. Uh, I don't know who half the people in my contacts are, dude. My landlord. You should um just send to a random number. You're fucking sick. Lawyer up, pal. I'm just going to text lawyer up to a random number right now. <laughs> lawyer up. One that's in the same area code as me, so. Um, okay. G give me a random last four digits. 6726. 6726. Okay, it's an iPhone number. <laughs> lawyer up. I just up. said lawyer up. <laughs> 
Oh. What if that actually got sent to a fan, and then, then when they listen to the podcast, they're like, "Oh, that was him." <laughs> so what if they're in like a like on an Armenian game? He's gonna, I'm gonna find this boy. I'm just like, sorry, wrong number. Uh, I, I know. I was just giving advice. You know, it's always good to have a lawyer. <laughs> lawyer. Everyone should have a lawyer. <laughs> they'll, they'll take I, I'm trying. I'm trying to do promotion for the better co- new Better Call Saul season. <laughs> Can you text someone your ass is grass? I'm gonna say your ass is grass, old man. I'll do a South Carolina number for this one. Okay, your ass is grass, old man. How do I come up with like a real phone number? Give me four digits. Uh, two one two two. Two one two two. It's an iPhone number. <laughs> I'm good with this shit, dude. Your ass is grass, not gas. Your ass <laughs> is grass. grass. Old man. All right. I'm going to do one more. Okay. What's this? <laughs> See, I, I can't send the fucking Drake. I want to send the Drake <laughs> picture so bad. I'm going to say, yo, you want can I call you? Do you want to be on the podcast real quick? <laughs> yeah, do that. And then if they say yes, we'll call them. <laughs> Um, hey, we're shooting a podcast. Would you like to be a surprise guest? 2165. No, it's not. A, okay, give me. Give okay. you what? What do you need me to put do? the area code in? I'm going to put the first three digits. Okay, now give me four. 7575. IPhone number. Hell, I'm fucking magic, dude. I'm magic Ryan. Okay, I said, hey, I'm going to say. I'm currently recording a podcast. A podcast. Could I call you real quick for a guest spot? <laughs> quick. Forward. Hopefully they'll answer before. None of these people will answer, I bet. Super fast. Okay. I texted them. Yeah, lawyer up. Nothing from them. Your ass is grass, old man. Nothing from them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna have him get some knock on my door later tonight, and it's gonna be some like huge fucking like Armenian dude with like all of like his like gang members like with a fucking trilby. He has a toothpick that he's chewing on. Yeah, so I did lawyer <laughs> up. How's this for lawyers? They come in and just break my kneecaps, dude. Well, that's the thing is like I could have either just texted because it's an LA number. I, I could have just texted Brad Pitt. That is true. You or I could I could have texted. The ringleader of a cartel. It's like, dude, what? What if this is like, like this person is super high up in a cartel and just got that, and he's like, I know oh, people where I can shit. find out who this is, or, or, or he's just like they're on to me, <laughs> lawyer. Dude, 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 okay, I got a little paranoid yesterday. Why? I get home and Carson's like, yo, the weirdest thing happened. I was like, what? And he's like, a helicopter, like an LAPD helicopter, came and circled like our house for like twenty minutes straight. Like specifically, like our, ha- like our, and like the two next to us, like like within that small of an area, mm-hmm. just circle it for like twenty well, minutes. There's a lot of houses around you. No, but like, like if they're like, circling that area, the spot was the spotlight on your house, or not something? the spotlight, but literally like Carson f- filmed it. and He showed me. He's like, look, like it was literally just like going around our house. Hmm. And I was like, what the fuck? They're looking for a banana, dude. Yeah, they're they're on the they're on the <laughs> they're, <trying to> find <laughs> them. they're they're just they were actually just like getting footage for this big bus they're about to make, and they're showing like this footage was taken days before the arrest. <laughs> No, I just thought it was weird. Matt Watson is at his home right now, apparently. This is where YouTuber Matt Watson resided before the arrest. <laughs> I wish I could do a news voice. Y- you can. There, You know, there's like attempting to do a news voice, but then there's a news voice. Yeah, like Tucker, T- Tucker Carlson. Tucker has- Carlson. <laughs> I love that Carson's name is Carson Tucker. So no matter what, how big he gets, if you search Carson Tucker, only thing will come up with Tucker, Tucker Carlson. Carlson. <laughs> um... Let's, keep, let's do our best news voices. This was the establishment moments before the arrest. Do I say the same thing? Sure, anything you want. This was the establishment moments before the arrest. It's good, it's good. They have that certain, like, it's part, it's part. Tonight at 10. Tonight at 10. Is it learned, do you think? Tonight like, at 10. Yeah, it is It is a way of speak. Do, you, do, do, you, do think people, you do, like, teach yourself, like, basically how to read a teleprompter well. Do you think that if we practice, we could get perfect news voices? But that, that should be a really cool skill I used to, to work for a news program, Matthew. Ever heard of the Silver Screen Report? No. Dutch Fork High Fucking School? Fucking way. Yep. Dun, 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 d
if if super mega fails we should both go to the move in the middle of nowhere and just go be like the high school news teachers like that just run one of those classes we just run a high, a high school news program yeah That's hey anyone at uh, dutch fork uh actually this is going to be a shout out to uh anyone that <clears throat> currently goes to my uh old high school that might be in the news broadcasting program if they have an archive I used to say the pledge almost like every single day. Like I was I was one of the pledge guys. Yeah. So I wonder if, if someone could dig any of that up. I bet there's definitely well, I used an to archive do the, of my I, shit. I did the teleprompter too a lot. I would do the like the main news reporting. Ooh, see, we uh we didn't do news like that. We'd uh there would be an anchor, it would change the, like every week. And the anchor, depending on what story was best, would try to fit like if the big story was football, they'd film the anchor spots and segments. Uh, on the football field, it's like mm. it's you'd have a story and then it'd go back to anchor to be like, oh, 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 oh back to the, you know, that type of shit. I remember watching some <clears throat> awkward. <laughs> I don't. OK, so I a lot wanna... of the shots aren't framed. Well, no, the audio is bad. Like the audio would be like anywhere between this. Yeah. So I was working with uh, the janitorial staff to this. Yeah, so I was working with the janitor- janitorial staff. Oh, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I, I, so I used to... had the, I was the producer for my last year, because as a senior, you can run to kind of be producer of the show, and I was one of the producers. How seriously did you take it? Pretty seriously. Uh, yeah, we won... We won, uh, I can't, we, we won, like, something. There's this thing called SESBA where you can win awards. SIPA and SESBA were the big things. I remember... Doing a <clears throat> like the t- the teacher that ran it just she just didn't give a fuck and oh my teacher cared a lot she didn't she give a great. fuck so I just walk in when I was actually supposed to be in because I was I had an art class across the hall but the teacher didn't care either mm-hmm. so I just kind of like walk in when they're doing I wasn't even in the class that's the thing I was, people used it as a study hall because they didn't care I mean that's yeah. what broadcast journalism I guess was put at schools to do but <laughs> there are some kids who actually legitimately cared about the stuff they made well we had good equipment or had fun with it no, I had a lot of fun I go in and I just be like can I do the news this morning they'd be like sure and I just sit down and I read the <laughs> teleprompter and I, I'd usually have a partner like someone that would be taking it more seriously than me but I, I'd also run the teleprompter sometimes mm-hmm. where I'd press the the little like buttons to speed up or slow it down. See, we, uh, we didn't have a teleprompter. We would print out the scripts on paper and it would just be the cameraman's duty just to hold the paper up. So for the anchor to read I like or, that. or no, that's not what it was. It was similar to that. I remember we did that once, but the main thing we would do is we would print them out on paper and we would fold them up. So we'd like have them and we'd be like, okay, read that. We try to memorize it. And then we'd say it. I like that. You would switch between like like show the cameraman holding it up and then trying I, to memorize it to sound a little more natural. There was this kid in the. <laughs> I was such a fucking dick. There was this kid that still like, are. Come on, man. What's the deal? Addicted to my love for you. Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, there's there's this there's this kid that uh, I don't remember much about him, but I remember. Just one morning, he was like reading the news. I was doing the tap prompter, and I just, I was, I'd fuck with him. You just sped it up. Start going really fast, which is actually like, to me, I'm like, it's funny, but then like, he's live in front of like the whole student thousand body. students that are all just judging him. He's like, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that he was laughed a dick. At, He probably laughed at it afterwards, though. He was like, what, uh, what, or did he know you that well? No, he was like, he's like, what, what, what's going on with the, the, the teleprompter? So I take it back, and I was like, I did it by accident once, too. I wasn't really paying attention. Is my sister call- I'm getting a call from Glendale, California. Is this that person? I don't know. Hello? Hi, what's up, you hoser? Who is this? It's Justin. What do you mean? Oh, it's just Okay, Justin, I- let me call you back in a minute, okay? What do you mean? I'm, I'm on a podcast. Goodbye. Sorry, that was Justin Tracy. <laughs> That must have... Oh, he's probably calling from the Game Grumps office. Oh, he probably wanted to talk real quick about something, though. Did you just hang up on the boy? Yeah, I'm doing a podcast, bro. That is true. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, don't want to sit here and interrupt it. I do have to take a mean shit, though. I have to pee-pee. You want to piss between my legs while... Actually, this is also a great time for... Uh... Let's take a little break, and we'll be right back. We're back. <laughs> um. Oh, perfect timing. I just got a text uh, from Lawyer Up. Yeah, and? Huh? <laughs> just said huh <laughs> alright what do I where do I go from here 
<laughs> um, uh, <laughs> can you just Don't. react and just and and just say ha ha? Do the ha ha reaction? No, c can you add? Uh, no, never mind. I want it to come off as serious. I'm trying to think. My, my, my I also okay. So I I want it to be good without legitimately harassing somebody. Yeah. So lawyer up, huh? You know what you did. Um, or let's say come out front. <laughs> yeah, say that come out front. <laughs> What they called the police? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nothing, nothing for the podcast guest though. No. Uh, yeah, I'll text again. I'll say, "Hey, you there? We need a, we need a response ASAP. Need a response ASAP. Just I could I could text someone else and be like, "Hey, I'm live on the radio. You wanna wanna <laughs> wanna call in real quick?" <laughs> they said, "Who is this?" When, when the, the I said, "Come, come out, front. out front," and they said, "Who is this?" Say, you know who this is. You know exactly. <laughs> you know exactly who this is. I'm just, and then I'll just respond to the picture of Drake sucking dick. <laughs> no. No, no, I can't. I'll say, are you over 18 <laughs> and willing to see a <laughs> pornographic image? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, then. then he's I, I have he's in done. my possession a leaked, uncirculated photo of Drake performing fellatio with semen on his face. Is that not a pot, like a big meme picture out there? No, I've never, I've never seen it. Where'd you it. get it from? I think someone texted it to me. I don't remember where I got it from. I've never seen it like online or anything though. <laughs> so that's why it makes me wonder. I'm going to look up Drake, Drake sucking penis. Yeah, Drake sucking penis. I'm going to go on Twitter. Uh, actually, speaking of Twitter, I just saw something on my timeline I would like to read to you. Yeah. It's a screenshot of some text and the caption is, if I had to see this, so do you. Okay. So I'm going to read this. Right here. Oh, okay. So it is a, it is a, like a known picture. Yeah, but there's a lot of people like... <laughs> Go look up Drake sucking penis if you're over 18. Dude, what about this leak? <laughs> <laughs> I love when people do like this shitty, like they're still good like photoshops. Like obviously but like a headshot of them from a red carpet event. but Put, put over on. like a naked guy with an erection. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ryan, Why don't people do that to us, huh? I get, just make sure it's someone with like a super small cock. <laughs> yeah, just a, like just fat naked or like just old disgusting men. old men's bodies. <laughs> And but, but, but then people could be like, when when someone's gonna search like Matt Watson or Ryan McGee, like that shit. Come <laughs> good, up. good, it comes right. up. What Ryan you... McGee with a pussy would be breathtaking. It would be so pink, and he'd make sure to wax every once in a while, and his lips would be silky. What is this? To see his clit, you'd have to spread his lips because what are you are talking also about? Chubby. This is random. What are you talking about? I just saw this on my timeline on Twitter, so I just wanted to read it to you. But like, where on your timeline? Like at us because of no. The just uh no context super mega retweeted what the fuck is this shit and someone said i had to see this so do you ryan mcgee with a pussy would be breathtaking it would be so pink and he'd make sure to wax every once in a while and his lips would be silky to see his clit you'd have to spread his lips because are also chubby his walls are fluffy and it'd be so easy for him to squirt how does that make you feel i see a little twinkle of arousal in your eyes <laughs> yeah that's what that is What's it called when you're turned on by, uh, like, envisioning yourself in, like, women's clothing? Uh, a lot of serial killers do that. It's just like a scientific name for it. I don't know. I read about it on Wikipedia recently. Well, I didn't. So how would I know? That's like actually a really good point. That That is a fantastic point to make. I got Yet, another point to make. What? This dick going in your ass. <laughs> All right. Behave. <gasps> That's the sound of it going into your ass. That sounds like the sound of it coming out. Nope. Oh, by the way, uh, so the other night um, we went on the Misfits podcast, which we, is not out yet. We did. Uh, very fun. That episode should be out soon. But afterwards, um, uh, Ryan had to go tend to Lego, uh, and as I went. I do. I as went. I do. To a. I went to dinner with uh, Swagger Souls and Fitz and some of the Misfits guys. Uh, but uh, our our rep uh, from um, a talent agency we work with came with uh, who helps us handle um, some things on the business side of our podcast. And I asked her, I was like, have you ever listened to the podcast? And she's like, yeah, I've listened to like four episodes. Um, and she told me the episode she listened to most recently was uh, she's like, yeah, the one I remember was uh, 
the the female anatomy one. <laughs> and I was like, God damn it. So the one, like the one that really stuck out to her was the one where we're going down the Wikipedia page for like <laughs> vagina and trying to figure Reading out what it was. about vagina crust and Yeah, stuff. yeah, that one. That was, and so I'm like, great, that's a great, of, of all 100, <laughs> almost 200 episodes of the podcast. Well, it sounds like she just isn't in touch with her own body. She's, she probably clicked on it going. She's going to listen to this hmm. one now and be like, why are they talking about me like this? It's because uh, we don't respect you. Mm-mm. Not one single bit. Well, now you know. Well, actually, I would like uh, to see if she really does care about us and if she does listen to the podcast. So She's only listened to four out of 184 episodes. She still has an, uh, 180 to go. But Miss Fitz said, how many of ours have you listened to? She said two. Oh. And she works for both podcasts. So the fact I said I looked Damn. over. Damn. Okay. Looked over, I looked over at Fitz and I was like, you know, your podcast might be bigger, but who's is she listening to? They've also of? been doing it a shorter amount of time and are more successful in that span of time. Than we well. Are. We've I been on YouTube for six years. Four. Well, oh uh, yeah, I guess if we're counting Syndigo and Kids of Problems. And for stuff. me, okay. Are I we officially... gonna count format twenty four too? No, I'd say like I'd say the channels that were kind of like the precursors to what we do, because like Syndigo led to Super Mega essentially, and then Kids with Problems led to Super Mega. Kids with Problems and Syndigo were like the uh, foster parents. <clears throat> For yep. for a little baby that then went made and, let's plays and outgrew <laughs> out, outgrew his daddies. Yep. Um, we always say we always mention let's plays. I guess that's to make us feel better because I legitimately enjoy recording. That I do shit. like doing let's plays. Yeah. I just I I think we're just I've always been embarrassed just because that stigma of let's players like the children ones where it's just so cringy and ours yeah ours let's plays can definitely be cringy and just, I know it's not the most ideal type of content because it does seem to attract a more younger audience. But I, I just like playing games with you and just talking. Yeah. It's fun. And just like a lot of funny shit happens. I, f I feel like regardless of like anything we see that might be negative and turn us off. Like the thing is, I I I noticed that I started taking like some negative comments to heart. Um, I, I, I was getting better at it. Then all of a sudden I just had like a day where I just kind of went mm. through them. And yeah. it was one of those days. And I'm like, these negative comments, while they are constructive at some point, in some points mo for the most part it's almost like i want to act differently but then if i act and think differently in terms of not doing what i want to do then it's like it's not hanging out with my friend it's not hanging out with my buddy it's not yes doing shit and with, i had this matt watts i've had the exact same problem before because i remember way uh i feel like we've gotten better about this but back in the day and i'm speaking for myself i don't i don't know if you felt the same way but there were times where um I would be doing a playthrough and I'd be having a lot of fun with it, but then I'd read the comments and they would bum me out so much. We'd and I'd, stop. We'd almost stop the play. And I'd become so paranoid about like, am I? I'm not being funny or like this. Uh, I'm not playing good enough. And then the series would suck comedically after that because I'd be so paranoid about being good at the game. And then we ended up. I, I just wouldn't have fun. We wouldn't finish the series. Yeah. And I realized it's like. We got to just do what we want to do and what we have fun making because that's why people came in the first place. Yeah. You know. People want to see us have fun. They don't want to see us. I just want to continue. They don't to do want to see same us be good at a video game. I just want to, like that. We've been doing the same thing since day one. Nothing's changed, and so it's like we really haven't changed that no. much. I mean, like, there's definitely aspects we've grown. People and can mature it. out of what we do, you know, one hundred percent, or like, you know, their their sense of humor changes. But I feel like while we definitely have, we def. I, our style of humor has stayed the same, but I think we're we're less of the. I just remember trying really hard to be edgy. Yeah. Well, also we hadn't found. Now our, I just do it to fuck with you. Yeah, and we haven't found and our to fuck groove with, yet. To fuck with Justin sometimes, but. <laughs> and that well, that's the thing is like, especially with edgy comedy is like, I think edgy comedy is funny. I think there's just ways about going to going about doing it mm -hmm. where it's edgy to be edgy edgy with a purpose you know there's like different i and i you don't want to be, like be a part of like the nihilist edgy humor type yeah. shit where it's like i'm just gonna troll because i don't care yeah and i've definitely made my fair share of edgy jokes on youtube that if i were to hear now i would cringe into oblivion be like oh my god Man. every now and then i'll see like an old clip from super mega or just uh an old clip i'm in where i make some joke i'm like oh god damn it yeah it's important i guess though to, to I, because, I mean that's see the change you yeah. know because like the fact that i'm cringing on that means like oh i wouldn't you're not gonna be the same person at night you know at 23 that you were at 19 you know yeah and we're also 
catalog- cataloging. That's art. only four years apart. What do you mean? No, but nineteen to twenty-four. That's a hell of a difference of a world. I've changed like five times, like massively in my life since then. And at the fact that we're cataloging all of that shows, you know, it sucks. It's great, but it also sucks because it's like now I got plenty of stuff to look back at and cringe on. And I'm gonna, I guarantee, when I'm twenty-eight. I'm going to look back at the shit I did when I was I think it's going to be less cringy as the older we get because yes. it's going to be more kind of like, ah, the, the, the that was stupid. But I remember having these conversations with Matt, who unfortunately uh, <sighs> overdosed on poppers. Yep. <laughs> he he didn't sniff them. He drank them instead. I thought it would it would be better. <laughs> Ugh. It's like drinking Sharpie juice. Poppers are legal. Yeah. Are they considered a drug? Yeah. I guess. Those Fuck are with poppers. your brain. Poppers are very bad for your brain. It's it's it very heavily used in the gay community. It's like a you get it at smoke shops. It's the like gays, a, the gays do use poppers. Yeah, because it loosens your butthole. Um, it, you bet you see you. It's like a little bottle of. They market it as like floor cleaner, and you. It sniff looks it. like a little bottle of poison, and and you open like it up. that a villain uses in a movie. Yes, yes, and you sniff it, and it gives you a big head rush, and makes your anus looser. And a lot of people use them in in the club and for doing just sex. Relax, have a good time, you know. I've done them before. They they are relaxing. You get a very you get a very strong head rush, and then a, and then a strong would relax. Recommend? I know they are. I would not it. recommend doing it. They're very like when you smell that, you're like my brain's dying by smelling that. My brain cells. It smells like a sharpie. It smells like. A, not good. It smells like cancer if you yeah. put cancer into a bottle. Like that's that's what that smells like. But yeah, we'll do poppers drawings. We'll we'll hook up a <laughs> like a face mask that's just popper drawing. <laughs> oh god, we'd die. Oh my god. We would die very quickly. JK. Yeah, Maybe. we probably would. You pass out. Unless. Well, if you have a mask like a bigger breathing it in, yeah, you would you would fucking absolutely die. Oh, here's a better image. Oh, so it looks like it's from a video. Drake the Rapper sucking dick on X videos. Hold up. They didn't respond to me. Yo, that's Drake. Dude, always oh, look. Dude, look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. That's Drake. Oh, he's jerking off too. That's the. That's where the screenshots from. That at the end he looks up. He already has cum on his face. This dude that he's blown is hard. Yeah, maybe because it starts with a frame of him sucking another guy's dick, and then yeah, it probably he probably got blown on, and then and then moves on to, you know, from there. Massive dick, black BBC. That looks like a horse cock. So it's not Drake. Jerk mate, it's fun, exciting, totally confident. I hate that the second I heard that music, I knew what it was. Thousands of men worldwide. Jack with hundreds? No, thousands of men worldwide? Jerk mate? Yeah, dude. Jerk off with other men. That looks painful, doesn't it? Ow, dude. Sometimes those, those, I like, as someone who uh, watches gay porn ironically, I th- sometimes I see shit, I'm like, ow, what the, ah, that looks painful. I can't do it, bro. I'm just so turned off by it because I'm so straight. I'm going to look up Rick and Morty on Pornhub. Bro, if you want a good, you want the good shit based on that, you got to go to the other websites. You got to find some weird off-brand porn website and then look up Rick and Morty. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna send. I'll send Letty the picture of uh, Drake sucking some some schlong. Uh, 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 I could send Ryan's mom the picture of Drake. What? Dude, people got... The fact that we started the <laughs> Cool Math Games with that song, like, that uh, that people freaked out over that. Uh-oh. Hold up. Today we're back with some more Rick and Morty. The way back home. Did you- is this a Let's Play on Pornhub of a guy playing a sexual Rick and Morty game? It is. I'm going to fast forward to the fucking... So far, that's, the, that's one of them. Anyway, it's my turn now. Sounds like Slava Zizek. She was a Rick and Morty pornography oh, game. She's massaging his penis. Oh, he's a... Hold on. Is he about to sleep with his mother? Oh, sh- Yo! Shit, come on. Scrub! Work. to my head. Uh, who should I send this? I need one more person to send this Drake picture to, bro. 
He has mounted the mayor. Holy shit, bro. Just getting into it. Just getting into it, bro. Bro, holy shit. Dude, imagine, like, if we did that kind of let's play. For, we, do we? Ooh. What if we did? What if we did? A, what if we did a let's play that we uploaded to Pornhub, bro? They're about to fuck. Shh. Oh, they're about to fuck. Hold up. Okay. Well, we can't. How about I eeny meeny miny mow it? How about I just? Okay, Ryan. Yell, yell, stop! Just whenever you feel like it. Okay. Holy shit! Sorry, go on. Yell, stop! Whenever you feel like it. Okay. Stop. You're gonna think I'm faking this. It landed on mom. <laughs> I was going through my contacts and then I tapped one. You could send it and be like, "Oh, sorry, mom. I did. My friend didn't." I'm not it. fucking kidding you. <laughs> All right. Are you gonna say sorry? That was an accident. I was trying to send this to Ryan because it looks like Drake. You can say like, I'll say, so "Sorry, I was trying to send that to to Dad." <laughs> You actually gonna text your mom, that? bro? My heart is racing right <laughs> you now. You actually gonna text your mom that? I like commitment to a bit, and I'm gonna do it. Are you? No, no, Matt. Are you? <sighs> oh, he's thinking. He's pondering this shit. All right, Ryan. I want you to witness this, okay? <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> oh my god! No way. <laughs> Oh, okay, see see the see the see the green loading bar at the top as it's sending. But you can't unsend that. No, shit. you can't unsend. It's too late. I've already sent it. Oh, it's sent. And <laughs> it is sent. You're, what? You sent gay porn to your mom. I just took a screenshot of that. <laughs> that one might have been a little too far, actually. Yeah. Are you worried now? A little bit. <laughs> but you're like, hey, it's, it's starting to podcast. sink in the reality of what I just did. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's funny for the podcast, but <laughs> We're gonna, She's your mom. She has to love we're, you we're regardless. The, we're going to end the podcast in two minutes, <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, the joke's over now, and I legitimately sent my mom gay pornography. Is she gonna? Is she gonna text back? You think? Oh, my phone is vibrated. I'm scared. To look. <laughs> oh no! Who is it from? <laughs> U.S. launches strikes in Iraq after Iranian-backed militias after attack that killed coalition troops. Oh well, that's, that's not. Who important. cares about that? <laughs> I, I, we got to. We should probably keep the podcast going until. Uh, I get a response from my mom. Do you think she will respond? I'm going to say, uh, <laughs> sorry, meant to, I'm going to say, sorry, meant to send that to dad. No, because I already did the song I fuck my dad and my mom, <laughs> my mom likes to psychoanalyze shit and she's going to actually think I'm gay for my dad. With all of these, <laughs> she's like, like there's the joke and then yeah, actually, he, keep, he keeps joking about and then she's gonna sit me down and be like, honey, when, were you molested as a child by your father? Like, she's gonna like really psychoanalyze. She's gonna talk to your sister about it. I, I, think, I think Matthew was What do you think she's gonna psychoanalyze out of this? So, your, your brother sent me <laughs> a Dude, she's photograph. Gonna think you're, she's, she's gonna think you, That's a grotesque you're, a, point you're attracted to her. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to send that to, oh God, I just gotta go hurry up and cover my ass. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to send that to, oh, I'm drawing so many blanks right now. The boys group text. So I meant to send that to. Oh, she responded. <laughs> oh, oh no. She said, "I don't want to see that." Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say. I don't want to see. I'm that. just gonna say it's Drake. <laughs> I just said it's Drake. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to see that. Oh, uh, do you think she's jealous? When's the last time your mom's popped a rod in her mouth, dude? Let me call an ass, man. I don't know. <laughs> well, you just sent her a picture. I feel like, would you be more uncomfortable sending that picture, asking your mom when Everyone, the last time ev go look up Drake sucking dick. That's the picture I sent to my mom. <laughs> I really am sorry. <laughs> uh, Did she say anything else after? Uh, <sighs> Did she? No, she didn't. And I'm going to be... This is gonna be the type of shit when I'm at my mom's funeral. I'm just gonna feel guilty about. <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna be like, <sighs> she's gonna make her laugh right before she takes her final breath. She's gonna remember this moment. What if my mom crashed her car driving home in the rain because uh, her phone went off and she pulled it out to look? Well, she, she shouldn't have been looking, that. and she shouldn't have been texting while driving in the rain. Well, she yes, good point. But like, <laughs> she pulls it out to see who texted her. She sees that picture immediately. Boom, hits a phone pole, dead. This is the last thing. She last sees. thing she sees is Drake sucking. How car. would you feel? 
there's almost like a a horrible comedy to it, you know, a horrible. It's it's a it, what is it a comedic tragedy? What's it called? What's the like? Uh, I mean, a comedy is like the old, you know, we were talking meaning about, of comedy was a tragedy. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's a. It's, it's it's truly Shakespearean. Yeah, I think. Um, Did you I should, send anything else? No, I should probably actually go call my mom. So we're gonna end the podcast here, so Matt can go apologize. Are you yeah. sure she didn't send anything else? She's, <laughs> uh, she didn't send anything else. She, you know she's just. <laughs> oh no! Should I just screenshot this and blur out the picture, but put it on Patreon to prove I was telling the truth? Yes. <laughs> Okay, we need the blur. Out. Oh yeah, okay. Blur I'll, out I'll blur out the because we're not an eighteen plus Patreon. I'll blur out the for those interested. We're actually thinking of like doing an eighteen plus separate Patreon where we won't censor out the nudity in the videos because a lot of you people want. No, of course we're not going to fucking do that. For a second, I was like, we didn't talk about. No, this. I know. I just knew that a lot of people were just like their ears perked up. Like y'all, we're fucking <clears throat> YouTubers. You don't need to. You don't need to see our cock and balls. Okay, we're we're th that's no. Unless you ask nicely. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll add a ball tier on the Patreon. Yeah. It's We're like, you have to pay a thousand dollars a month and then we, it's just a picture of our balls, like outside of our like pants. I, I could, I could brain. I think for the goat. right, for the right amount, I, I might, I would show off some balls. Cause it's just, it's, it's just balls. Same here. It's funny. It's just fucking balls. You know? I know. Like, I don't think there's anything I like... I think a cock and balls is funny. Testicles are, like, penis, that's sexual, but testicles are just kind of funny to me. It's yeah. just balls, man. Well, you know, we'll we'll think about the ball tier. Jackson came up with a good joke, by the way, I wanted to tell you. He said, what about instead of healthcare for all, uh, Health, Medicare for all, Medicare, for, Medicare balls. for balls. And then so everyone gets, met, like, a, like, I guess, government support for For any their kind balls, of yeah. All right, well, I need to call my mom and make this right. She uh, hasn't texted back at all. So go go on Patreon if you want to see the, the proof of this. God damn it. All right, bye, everybody. Bye. bye.